Hi, I'm Sophie, and welcome to my world. And it is time for a New Year's Way Back Wednesday. That's right. I'm going to show you how to make your very own New Year's blah, 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 confetti cannon. Ring in the New Year's with this Way Back Wednesday. Hi, I'm Sophie, and welcome to my world. Well, it is almost 2016. It's official. And I'm going to teach you how to take this lowly TP tube and turn it into an exciting confetti cannon. That's right. This is going to shoot confetti. And I'm going to show you how to do it right now. So for this project, the most important thing you're going to need is the inside tube of either toilet paper, paper towel roll. You could even use the inside of a Christmas wrapping paper roll. You can just cut it to whatever size you want, but you do need some sort of paper tube. And I'm actually going to be using some leftover wrapping paper since it's, you know, after Christmas, I've got some leftover wrapping paper. I'm going to be using that to decorate my tube. I've got regular tape and I've also got packing tape. You can also use duct tape if you like. I'm going to be using 11 inch balloons and I'm going to need some scissors. I have, now this is extra, if you want to, if you want to put a capper on top of your um, tuber, you're going to want a rubber band and some tissue paper. And then the most important thing you're going to need is confetti. Now I found, this is like that sequin confetti, it's like sequins and little different uh, pieces of sparkly stuff. This has a little bit more weight to it and I find that this actually shoots better than paper confetti. But I'm going to be mixing it in with some paper confetti that I was able to buy at the local store. And I was able to get this for 99 cents, just a big bag of it. You can also use your own shredded up paper or anything else that you've got that's very confetti-ish. You can use anything you want, even glitter. Okay, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my balloon and I'm going to tie it off right here at the end, just like if I was to blow it up and then tie it off. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie it off without blowing it up. And I want to tie it on so that it's nice and tight. And I'm just going to push that knot so it's right at the bottom there. Now, one thing you should know about balloons is that they do degrade over time. So if your balloons have been sitting around for a while, you want to make sure you have a couple of these because we're just going to cut the top here, just that little teeny bit off the top. See how I just cut off that little itty bitty bit of the top? Sometimes when you do this, if your balloon has been sitting around your house for a while, it can degrade. And if it degrades, it can split down the middle when you're trying to do this next step. Hopefully it won't do so, but if it does, just make sure you have a couple extra balloons on hand. I'm going to open this up with my fingers, like a, almost like a bathing cap, and I'm just going to put it right over top and just kind of pull it down. Now I want to try to get this to be sort of centered, and don't get too terribly upset if your tube pulls in a little bit on the sides and loses its exact round shape. That will happen. That's okay, it's not gonna, not gonna ruin anything. Okay, so see now you can see that I've got my balloon here on the bottom and it's pretty tight and I'm gonna try to pull this just, just to get it as tight as possible there. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is take my tape and I'm gonna be using my uh, packing tape here and when I use my packing tape, I always cut it and I always make sure to fold over the edge because one of the things about packing tape that's kind of hard is that once it gets sealed to itself, it's very hard to get it started again. Okay, I'm just going to seal this balloon right to the tube by wrapping it around like that. Okay, now my balloon is nice and attached, just like that. And as tight as you can get that, the better. So if you want to, if you come back, you can even tie it again. Give it another tie there just to make sure it's nice and tight on the bottom. Now, if you are familiar with my videos, you'll know that we do this with what we call a marshmallow shooter. I'm just going to use my scissors to punch that back out again. And it's exactly the same technique. It's just yet you're using a TP tube instead of the inside of a duct tape tube. All right, now we're just going to decorate this. And to decorate it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my piece of gift wrap paper here. I'm just going to measure, and, I, and what's nice here is that I have these lines, and I'm just going to line it up there 
trim right along the bottom here. And just use some regular tape here. And with my regular tape, I'm just going to take that piece of tape right there, secure it. Take another piece of tape here and secure it up at the top. And then what I found is easiest is to take my tape, get it set, put it on the outside edge of my paper so that I can just wrap my tube and it'll just stick right there like that. And now it's nice and covered. Now if you wanted to come back and put some pretty other tapes on here, some embellishment stuff, you can. If this is your design. You could do it any way you want. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this aside for just a second while I prepare my stopper topper. Now here's the thing. I like to make a whole bunch of these and put them in a basket and then people can use them when it's, you know, the countdown for 2016. But here's the thing. You, you don't have to. You can just leave it open, put in your confetti and just use it as a cannon that way. That's completely fine. But if you want to have them set and in a, in a big basket or bowl, you know, kind of like party poppers, this is what you're going to want to do. Take that piece of tissue paper, and this is about six inches by six inches, a six inch square. Fold it into fours. So did you see that? I folded it in half and then I folded it in half again. And now I'm going to do is I'm just going to take from, from the outer edge here, I'm just going to do a half rainbow up and over. And then when I open it up, I've got a nice circle. There we go. Now I'm going to put my confetti in. Now here's the fun part. You want to put in about, oh, about like two tablespoons. So I'm going to mix a little bit, I hope you can see there, I'm going to mix a little bit of this fun heavyweight, bright and colorful confetti, sequiny. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this paper confetti that I was able to get at the dollar store. And then you just shake it up a little bit. Take your piece of tissue paper, put it over top. Just fold it down all on, on all sides. And then I'm just going to use a little rubber band here. Now this is just a small rubber band. And I'm not going to make it too tight. I'm just going to loosely put it around the top. And that's going to keep it nice and secure and ready for whenever it is time to shoot it off. Now here's the thing. You can leave this on and shoot it off. What you're going to need to do is you'll go, you're probably going to have to mm, pull this three times, like one, two, three, and probably by the third or fourth pull, it'll pop this piece off. But you can also, when it's time, just take it off and have it nice and ready and everybody can be set and ready to go. Now here's the other thing I did want to show you is that you can do different sizes. So this is my one that came from the inside of a paper towel, and instead of using uh, the gift wrap paper, what I did was I used duct tape here, made that really, really pretty. And this one I also did using duct tape. And I just used duct tape. I didn't use anything else, just the balloon and duct tape. I didn't even use that clear tape because I didn't need it. But that's all there is to it. Let me put this back on and it will be ready to shoot. And I'm going to show you how fabulous it can be. You can do it one of two ways. Now you've got this one that has the lid on it and I'm just going to peel the lid off and you get that countdown and you ready? Three, two, one. Happy New Year! That's one way to do it. The other way, and this one I've used actually a paper towel tube, leave the cap on. You're going to have to make the shoot a couple times but once it does, like the third or fourth time, it's going to pop it off the top. Ready? Watch. Happy New Year! More great ideas that'll pop in your world. Come and check us out, sophie-world.com, and here's to a great 2016.